Hi guys, uh, Leif here from uh, ATEC Office Technology. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a new user box on the new Konica Minolta BSUB C224E series, or this applies to all the E series uh, products, uh, BSUB products. So, uh, uh, why you would want to create a new user box? A user box is uh, like a folder uh, on the machine, and you can store documents there. So, but before you can actually store documents, you have to create a user box. So this is how we do that. So this is what the home screen looks like uh, uh, when the machine is brand new out of the box. Uh, if I click on uh, press the user box button here, you can see that the, the uh, screen is basically empty. There's no user box there. So there's nowhere for us to actually store the documents. So. I'll go back to the main menu. We're now going to create a new user box or a new folder to store documents in. So I'm going to go into the utility button, press number one, uh, where it says uh, one touch uh, user box registration. Press number two, create user box. Press number one, public personal user box. At the bottom left, we've got a new button, so we'll press that and to create a new user box we got to give the user box a name so I'll select the name in this case I'm just going to select uh, uh, a name called test so that's the name of my user box or folder I could also give it a password if you want a password protect the the folder I'm going to leave that blank uh, you can select the index if I select the index you can put that under wherever you like uh, it automatically selects to be under T because I created it as test and you'll notice up here it says page 1 out of 2 so this is very important to go forward to page 2 out of 2 and there's an auto document delete time set that's set default to one day which means that uh, when you store a new document in that folder it'll only stay in there for one day before it gets deleted so I'm going to change that to save so highlight save which means that uh, when I save documents into this folder the document will be saved there permanently until you actually go in there and delete it so there's no time limit on that so I'll select OK and close and close and close all the way out to the main screen now I'm back to the user box screen and you can see we have a new user box called test and just for your reference also that when you create user boxes they also have a number reference you can see it at the top there with all zeros and one so the first user box I created in the system is user box number one thank you for watching uh, this uh, YouTube tutorial hopefully you found it uh, useful and you could uh, learn something uh, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, if you'd like uh, more updates on new videos as they become available or leave a comment or if you have any questions just feel free to post, uh, post that on our channel and we'll try to answer them. Thank you. See ya.